I'm pick, picking up each rod to run it. We, <laughs> I've got two bait casting rods and two spinning rods, and it's our first open water bite of the season up north. You know, so I'm grabbing each rod is rigged with something different. You know, and this bait, oh, she ate that little, that little Holy cow, purple he that. shadow wrap. Shadow wrap shed. Uh, how am I gonna get you? All right. You need a pliers? Yeah, I do. Lou, you spooked the, you spooked the coots. <laughs> You're big That's bass and they were scared of getting eaten. <laughs> My first bass of the season up north in the open water. That's a good start. Good start. I've thrown three different baits already on my four rigged rods, and I didn't throw this too long. Bit on a, a shadow wrap shed. Right away, we'll see how this shakes out. This is the shallow one. That fish Al just caught on the shadow wrap was that cool, muted, frosted, kind of a matte finish to those baits. And wrap was the only one that I've seen do anything like that. They're the only one out there. So they've got that in the shadow wrap family of lures and the idea behind that color pattern is to make it as basically as subtle as you possibly can. When you get in cold water fishing situations, the idea is subtle, 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 especially for large mouse. Now if we were talking about small mouse, that'd be a different story, but large mouse, you really, really want that muted, subtle, subtle, subtle color pattern. Now by contrast, if we were fishing smallmouth bass, they've got those same muted patterns and they make a halo with a brighter background to them and it really just glows in the water. So it's a really, really neat color option for guys that want to play around with something in the subtle category.